On the violent streets of Misrata, it's easy to see why civilians are risking their lives to flee. Many now think staying here amid all this is simply not an option. So this is how many are choosing to escape, a perilous boat journey across the Mediterranean. This boat crammed to the gunnels with passengers arriving on the Italian island of Lampedusa on Sunday. Relieved refugees made it ashore, cold and exhausted, but alive. But hundreds of others are thought to have drowned at sea, making the same crossing in other boats. This priest says he received a phone call from one boat crammed with 72 people fleeing Tripoli who were dying from thirst. He says he alerted the Italian Coast Guard and survivors told him a military helicopter did drop them aid, but no actual rescue was attempted. The priest says all but 11 of the 72 people died when they eventually drifted ashore at Misrata. The UN is criticizing the lack of help for boatloads of people who are clearly in distress. The Mediterranean Sea is plenty of vessels, commercial vessels, fishing boats, military vessels. So it's very difficult to accept the idea that there was uh, you know, a boat with, um, with many migrants on board who, which was left uh, adrift for two weeks. So this shouldn't happen anymore. Speaking at an event to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the UN Refugee Convention, organizers demanded that more be done to rescue people fleeing Libya. That's not happening at the moment. We need to see concerted European action so that doesn't happen and so we don't see any more people dying um, on their way to Lampedusa. <laughs> While Britain's Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg seemed all too happy to celebrate six decades of protecting refugees, in the Libyan crisis he says there's to be no UK asylum for those arriving in Italy, no sharing of the refugee burden around Europe. How you deal with that, you have to deal with it. Do you deal with it by sort of you know, this, this sort of odd phrase of, sort of somehow pretending it's a kind of a parcel that, or a burden that you, that you sort of divide up neatly like a cake. I don't think that is, I, I, don't, think that's, I, don't, think that's, I don't think that's on the table. The European Union says 29,000 refugees have arrived in Italy since February the 20th and hundreds more are turning up each day. It's giving politicians in capitals across Europe a real dilemma. Yes, they say they want to protect civilians, but many seem reluctant to have huge numbers of asylum seekers arriving on their shore. Dan Rivers, CNN, London.